I'm very smart, aren't I? You're out of control. <laughs> She's literally holding the thing in her hand. Oh, it's not me speaking. We're um, parked up back at our hidey hole just north of Coral Bay. We thought it'd be like full, but it's there's no one here. It is empty. And we've been getting pumped by the southerly winds. Last time we were here, there was <laughs> literally people as far as you could see, and now nothing. Now nothing. Oh, anyway. we got a neighbour yesterday, way over there. <laughs> That's all good. So today we're heading up to South Lafroy. My brother's staying up there for the few days so we're going up to see him. Check it out. What do you mean map the track? I thought you knew where we were going. Well you know I've got a rough idea. <laughs> but I doubt there's any service. No that's a good point. So we just got to South Lafroy. This place is Wowzers. specky. It is specky here, but <laughs> man, what a mission. It took us, we left at 9 a.m. and got here at- 11.20? Yeah, 11.20 from uh, <laughs> Babujo, which is just north of Coral Bay. We did the coast track. We didn't go out to the main road and drive back down. We did the coast track, but-, but the, all, all of the wiki camps that said that road was crap. Accurate. <laughs> Very accurate. And people were just flying past with the caravans. They're crazy, crazy people. Mad dogs. Yeah. But now, so we've just had a look at the beach. We've um, caught up with the kids. And now we are heading to a turtle sanctuary, which we didn't even know there was one. So. Yeah, that'll be cool. Yeah. Let's hope see we see some, some turtles. turtles. Oh, and we've let the wheels Oh, down. yeah, the tires are down. <laughs> even though we just spent two hours driving on rock hard tires. Nine months later and, and we've got the tyres down. Yeah. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> we lost. <laughs> we went the wrong way. We went the wrong way. We showed up, we ended up at a dead end in someone else's camp. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Hopefully third time lucky. Turtle Cove, here we come. This is all reef, eh? Yeah. Fuck, that's a main reef, just there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That low tide actually is out of the water. Back on the coastal road. We're on the coastal track from Babuju back to Coral Bay. Yeah, we're going the opposite way of yesterday. Yesterday we went north to South Lafroy and now we're going back to Coral Bay. And we're hoping to see the shark sanctuary and what was the other one? Skeleton uh, Bay. Skeleton. Oyster Bridge. Oyster Bridge as well. So There's a couple of spots along here. So we're at Dog Rock and we might, only just made it. Might be at Dog Rock for good. <laughs> I think that, we found the limit of the four wheel drive in the Everest. That hill is so torn up. Holy hell. Soft and sandy. We definitely bottomed out a couple of times there on the way down. It's just wombat holes. People just dug holes up there. So I don't think we'll get back up it. So this is Dog Rock and it's in between Coral Bay and where we're staying at. Um, Bait, Bateman Bukin. Sanctuary Zone. Yep. Oh, look at all the stones. That means there's stonefish. A little bit stoned. <laughs> we do not want to be a little bit stoned. 
Oh well, I let a bit more air out and we'll... Well, we'll go for a walk along now. I can see the track over there. So this hill's looking hard enough to get us out of here. It's not even the soft sand, like... I feel like we can deal with soft sand. It's soft sand that is totally messed up with like opposing wombat holes. They're the worst. Unless you're all locked up, front and rear lockers. Those, those wombat holes you get, you basically become a two wheel drive. And that don't work. And so did you have a uh oh moment when we got... Well, well, I couldn't go back, so what can you do? You commit. <laughs> and then it becomes a uh oh. We'll definitely get to here and then, then that's, that's Bowman Hill, so. Should be a track out. That track goes back out. Well, hmm. that's a steep little drop. But I don't know where the track goes. We'll just have to figure it out. Well, like you said, there's no turning behind us. Ain't no alternative. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, we've got a long walk. Chair dropping into. I don't know, about 15, but... What were they? 20. I thought these things were quick. Taking its time? Turns out they're not. How awesome would it be if you had those little doodakies you stuck on the tyre? That lets the air out on their own. That would be pretty awesome. Imagine if my wife would buy me some. <laughs> Imagine if your wife has already bought you some and someone left them in the car when he sold it. <laughs> <laughs> Someone, someone's called a set of Storm auto deflators. Yeah. And considering the car was going to be scrapped, it's probably worth more than the car. Probably. <laughs> I'm starting to look pudgy, a bit like my belly. Feel like all our bellies. <laughs> 40 plus year old bellies. Yeah. <laughs> Not even just purred out there. Go and check out Bowman Hill well, while, we're, while, we're here. while we're here. This place was a little bit more four wheel drive friendly. Yeah, it was pretty well. From there to there was pretty easy. We're yet to find out what it's like to get out. Well, this is true. And again, we're the only ones here. <laughs> That's not always a good thing. It's a little bit ominous. We find Oyster Bridge. Yeah, it looked like it wasn't far. We learned here lesson this time, eh? We're going to get out and walk. I'm going to walk down there. <laughs> Parked up. We'll just walk. Well, you know, we need the exercise pudgy. <laughs> How good is that? W.A. Champagne Pools. That's cool. All this was just up the road from us. So we're just arriving at Oyster Bridge. And I didn't love that road. Tan's just had her first moment where she was about to growl me. <laughs> No, because we were going up and the truck was already sliding and there was a big drop off to the side and we were slipping sideways and that wasn't fun. <laughs> but we just talked to some strangers on the way past and they said that was the worst bit. So, worst thing is we've got to get back that way. Yeah, we're only going down. Yeah, but there's like a drop. Where's another bit? Oh, no. <laughs> he said that there was no more bad bit. <laughs> At least there's no drop off on this one. Oh. This is a popular spot. Oh, there's heaps of people here. Been here for weeks on end and we're still only finding cool new things. Yeah, I know. And then going, why didn't we find this earlier? But then we are kind of troglodytes who hide in the caravan. <laughs> Gotta get some work done, you know. The piece that I didn't like. This is, this is Tanya's you see, piece that she didn't like. No, because down there, 
as usual, the camera doesn't really do it justice because she is a long way down. And when we were going up fast, we, sli we slid towards it. No, oh. we didn't. We did. <laughs> That's rubbish. <laughs> I don't like sidewaysness when there's a drop. We made it back to Coral Bay. We had to go extra slow along the uh, car seal. Now we're using the eye check temp thing to get the pressure back because it's not working on that. And he's looking at me because I need to be doing something else <laughs> instead of talking. 26, you're on 26. What are you trying to get to? Uh, about 30, 36. A lot of beeps going on today. Push it. It's Drive it up. The thing behind you that's beeping, not me. It was the thing in my hand. <laughs> I'm very smart, aren't I? You're out of control. <laughs> She's literally holding the thing in her hand. <laughs> oh, it's not me speaking. Pumped the tires back up. We've used our little eye check um, gadget that sits on the dash. Tells us that we're back at road driving pressures, even if Chris got them slightly. Not quite all I'll tell you what, it's a hard life for me. <laughs> Miss perfection over here. Ah, uh, everyone feels sorry for Chris. Everyone feels sorry uh, for me. Look, there's a little there's violin like, there's for like you. One that's different. <laughs> <laughs> everyone can send your sympathy. <laughs> sympathy send, message. Send me sympathy. <laughs> send me sympathy. So we just had an all terrain failure. All terrain has failed. <laughs> Someone's found some slippery rocks. And as you can see by this side of his body, yeah. the all-terrains didn't have any grip. Yeah, pretty, uh... oh, let's see your arm. Got a bit of... And we're going to see the sharks right now, so... Got a little bit of claret. We might see how good the old blood in the water thing is. If they actually come running over to you or not. <laughs> if someone's going to have a sore hip and a sore arm tomorrow. I mean, hips are right. Be my arm and my toe. And my toes got, oh, and your my toe. toes got <laughs> And do you know what I did during this time? I looked across and went, oh shit. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> I like just put my arms up. Thank, thanks for your help. Yeah. He slipped and then he slipped again <laughs> and I still stood there. But I was feeling sympathetic for you. Mm. Sliding. Epic reactions in a disaster. <laughs> and someone happened to be going past just to see it as well. <laughs> yep. It was, there was witnesses, <laughs> so it actually happened. He's washing all the blood off his toe. His toe's bleeding as well. I realised when I was standing out there by myself on the phone that they were coming in my direction. No, they weren't. They never came in your direction. They did. And I was the only one out there, which means I was the, at the main menu. So when you're doing stuff like this, the key is to have other people. <laughs> <laughs> and then to be faster than the other people. Maybe humans just don't smell tasty. Even bleeding ones. Yeah, even your blood didn't bring them over. Well, they're coming a little bit closer now. They come. Yeah, they're just cruising around. There's a few over there. They're just kind of hanging out on that slightly deeper spot there. They're getting quite close now. Maybe they are smelling your blood no. when I'm standing right next to you. It's not even bleeding anymore. Tell that to the sharks that are right next to us now. Got to do the uh, stonefish shuffle. Make sure there's nothing down there. And stingrays. A little stingrays chilling out. Whee! Oh, you scared one off. <laughs> it took off now. So we're just walking along, mind your own business, and <gasps> I don't even know what kind it is. I'm just going to say it's poisonous, hiding under a rock. Haven't even been looking for snakes walking along here because I didn't think it was a thing. <laughs> What is it? Not you right. know? Snake. It's got a round head. Does that mean it's not poisonous? No. No? Hey, you got the right top on. Spin around and show us your shirt. Definitely. Definitely. 
It is most definitely a, a little bit snaky. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't think that they'd be here. I'm not liking the fact that I wasn't prepared for that. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap balls. It's just staring at us too. Right, back at the tires again. Yep. What's happening today? Uh, we're heading to Five Finger Reef. Just out of Coral Bay. Wow, like five minutes. Right, so looking at the sign, here's Coral Bay. And Five Finger Reef is just there. So, what's it say, about 5Ks. Just getting seasick off the sand bumps. I don't know if it's just from people not letting their tires down or what, but I don't ever remember our sand tracks getting like this. How would you describe the track? Um, rough. <laughs> I don't know man, it's like, it's, you don't need, to, there's no need to go quick, like I literally just crawled up there, but it seems like people are giving it death. This place is pretty cool, but holy crap, look at that. It's not bad, it's pretty specky. What an awesome place for some snorkeling. It's gonna be my kind of snorkeling where you can see what's coming at you. Reef. Been there, done that, got the postcard. That was Fremo. That Fremo was, spot. If you've got a four wheel drive and you're in Coral Bay, do not miss going to Five Finger Reef. Yeah, no, that was pretty cool. The beach is beautiful, colours are beautiful, there's plenty of fish to see, heaps of snorkeling. We're pretty sure we saw two sharks, we we're not 100% sure on that. And the track's pretty easy. Let your tyres down, you'll be fine. Yeah, it was a bit slidey and stuff, bumpy. It's just more the humps. It's just the humps. Yeah. But yeah, and even if you don't have a four-wheel drive, what do you reckon, like 20 minute walk? Half an hour maybe? Yeah, I don't know. If you went on the track, it'd probably take 20, 15, 20 minutes, but you might be able to walk there from the beach, I don't know. Yeah, so if you don't have a four-wheel drive, still get out there. It was awesome. So, time to feed us. Um, some lunch. <laughs> Chris needs uh, food to fix all his Ailments, oh, ailments from falling over. I've got an ET finger toe. <laughs> He's already got a tump though. A what? Say that again. <laughs> <laughs> a tum <laughs> A thumb toe. No. Yeah, no, that's, yeah right. that's right. He chopped his half of his toe thumb. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's right. And now you're gonna have a fat toe finger too. Yeah, well my my second toe on my foot. She's, got, she's gone a bit dark. It's gone black and purple <laughs> and it's starting to swell. So, yeah, he might have actually done something to it when he fell over today. I'll keep you posted. It's definitely not busted because I can twist it and move it and yeah. carry on there. Just, so. just changing colour for now. Quick little update on the broken person. How are you feeling? <laughs> Lots of pains. <laughs> Ice packs on the knee. Here's the how toe's the toe's cool. looking. <laughs> looking a bit busted up. Um, arms cool. Arms. <laughs> and then you, you haven't actually taken your pants down to look at your hip. I haven't looked at my hip yet, but I'm sure there's a mark there as well. <laughs> 42 year olds don't bounce. <laughs> Radio team, we've got our winners for the O Light comp. The bit you've been waiting for. Yeah. Um, we went, went through all the comments. Cheers for all the comments. That's awesome. Yeah, thanks guys. Hopefully, we replied to you all. Yeah. Uh, we've got John Seddon. He's the winner of the, he wanted the Batten 3 pack. Congratulations. And uh, Peter Scott, uh, he wanted the headlamp. I don't know if I pronounced that right, but we'll put the names down the bottom. Yeah, check out the bottom, make sure it's 
that's you and if you if you were one of the people that's names was just read out you just need to get, send us an email hello at lent a bit wiser and we'll get back to you yeah we'll get your address and get it in the post get those out to you thanks for watching yeah Cheers. see ya